Um, real honor to, to have you here, Dave, so I'm going to go ahead and turn it over. Dave Knox. So I don't talk too much. Oh, clicker. Yeah, that helps. Uh, so it's interesting. When uh, the folks from Hype reached out for uh, this topic, I was like, well, what do you want to talk about? And they said, well, can you talk about how you made Cincinnati uniquely yours? And, you know, I'm usually not one for a loss of words, but was one that I actually had no clue what I was going to talk about. Um, because I'm one of those guys that I just like doing stuff and keeping busy. And I'd never actually thought about how I was doing things that were uniquely mine in the city. Uh, it was just things that made me happy and I had fun doing and kept me busy. Uh, so what I want to do is share a little bit about that and share some of the things I have going on and how I've kind of thought about them and approach them. So first off, with the why I'm here, um, you know, Chris mentioned Rockfish, which is a great new company that hopefully you will be hearing a lot more about. Um, it's actually small agency of the year from Ad Age, a couple of other things. But we're going to be opening office here in Cincinnati and recruiting probably by the job postings 15 jobs by January and 50 by next fall. Um, so we're going to be doing a lot. But the other things keep me busy are, uh, first off, Cincinnati Social Media. This is a great group that was actually started by Kevin Dugan, and he let me tag along. And we're now up to about 1,700 members, actually, that come to monthly get-togethers where it's networking. It's just people talking and getting to know what's going on and how we can use this weird thing that's a tool called social media to actually build businesses. And then the final thing is the Brandry, which is uh, about seven weeks in right now. And it's a nonprofit incubator that we're helping startups here in town that want to accelerate what they have going on. And then on November 18th, we'll be doing a presentation where each of the companies will be pitching to, hopefully if it goes well, about 50 to 75 investors. We already have RSVPs from investors from Boston, New York, San Francisco. So it should be a great event. Now with that, what I want to talk about was, how do you think about making Cincinnati uniquely yours? This is a uh, picture I love that's actually from Yatesman's Cove. It's one of those little plaques that talks about the history of Cincinnati. And the thing is, Cincinnati has always had a history of making things uniquely ours. We've been a culture that, since day one, has been about driving forth, driving force westward, and creating unique, interesting things. And with that, I think there's six different things you can do to really think about making Cincinnati uniquely yours, especially as you talk to people that are coming into the city and wanting to remain here. The first one is being more than words. I love this quote by uh, Scott Heiferman, who's a buddy of mine that started Meetup in New York. And Scott says, don't just say something, start something. And it's, I think, one of the biggest challenges that a lot of people have great ideas and have great things they talk about. But how do you actually get out there and do something? Just get the movement going and start making something happen. Don't worry until it's in a pretty little bow in a perfect package. Just start doing something because it's amazing what happens when it's not just about ideas, but it's making ideas happen. People are going to flock to people that are making things happen. And that's how you get momentum going and something you have to encourage. You look at what Chris is doing with Black Book. People will follow ideas, and they'll rally around great things. So you need to be able to do that and have the guts to try it. The second is you have to think about paying it forward. Um, mentoring is a brain to pick, an ear to listen, and a push in the right direction. Mentoring is the key of how you get things going, and it's how you really push us forward. You know, one of the great stats I love is from the Kauffman Foundation that looked at, since 1977, where have the jobs come from? end of the day, it's come from startups. Three million jobs a year have been created by startups, uh, people that just went out, had a dream, and started making ideas happen and started doing things. And what's great is the way you get those jobs created is through mentorship, by people helping others out and really making things happen. The third is don't follow. And this is one that I think people struggle with sometimes because you hear, well, Cincinnati is going to be the Silicon Valley of consumer marketing. Miami University is the Harvard of the Midwest. Well, stop comparing ourselves. We need to stop following, and we need to be proud of our originality because we don't have to compare ourselves to other people because we have awesome things happening. And that's about being unique and being what we are. We don't have to compare. You know, we don't have to think about being a house that's like other houses. The fourth thing is thinking big. Um, I love this from Tony Shea, who's the founder of Zappos. He said, whatever you're thinking, think bigger because the sky is the limit when you think about ideas. And this is a great town to be able to do it because you have so many resources, you have so many networks, you have a great way to do it. You know, when you think about other cities, the San Fran's of the world, you know, they have to think big because they have a $5,000 mortgage they have to pay. So they better think really big in order to make it and pay for it. Cincinnati can think big and every other place can as well. The 
fifth area is ask for help. Um, you know, what I love about Cincinnati and what's, what I tell so many people when they come in and think about doing a startup is this is a town where anybody will sit down and help you out. Uh, it doesn't matter if you're talking about, you know, Jerry Kaufman, the founder of LPK, Pete Blackshaw, EVP at Nielsen, any of the names out there, it doesn't matter if they wrote a book, founded a company, run a Fortune 500, I guarantee if you reach out, they will sit down and have coffee with you. It's one of the memories that always stick out. I was about a weekend as an employee at P&G, and I had a luncheon with John Pepper, where it was a lot of our new hires, and it was an event he did to kind of connect with people. And I talked about my passion for bridging colleges to high schools. And John, a guy that's worth, I don't know, $200 million based on what the stock market is, uh, said, you know what, why don't you come have lunch with me next week and we'll talk one-on-one -on -one about that. That's what's unique about this town is anybody will help and sit and really make a difference with you. The final thing I want to leave you with is that we need to brag a little bit. Cincinnati has amazing things going on. You know, this great study came out from Entrepreneur Magazine where it looked at what are the top schools for undergraduates in entrepreneurship. And since they had three of the top 20, no other city in the entire country had that. We had Xavier, we had Miami, and uh, we have University of Dayton that all are graduating amazing people that want to start businesses that want to make a difference. We need to embrace this. And it goes back to not comparing ourselves, but bragging a little bit. Because we have so many things going on in this city, we need to stop focusing on the, well, why is the single scene not so good and entertainment and all that and focus on what's awesome and brag about it and be damn proud about it. Because once people see what we have going on, they embrace it. Uh, this past weekend, we had the founders of Rockfish in town. And these are guys that had come a couple times for trips, but we really wanted to show them the town. And one of our guys said, you know what? Every time I visit the city, I find something new, I find something unique, and I find a reason I love it that much more. We need to be proud of that, and we need to show it. Because that's what makes Cincinnati uniquely ours, and that's how we can make our mark and uh, leave you with some of the great press, including some that uh, Laura wrote for us. So, uh, brag a little bit, we can. So with that, uh, final quote, just great inspiration from Mark Andreessen. Um, Mark is the epitome of somebody that makes things happen and keeps it going. And he's said, in a startup, absolutely nothing happens unless you make it happen. And I'd argue nothing happens in your town unless you make it happen. So get out there and start doing it. So.